I wish I could say that I found out about this on my own. But I must have walked right past it at multiple make affairs. Typical me. I have probably noticed on some semi-conscious level that these guys are selling a variety of stackable electronic modules. But what are stackable electronic modules to a pro like me? I make my own circuit boards, so I don't need to know about beginner stuff like this, or do I? Well, this happens to be the best product I've seen in 2018. And no matter your skill level, you'll understand why in a moment. The Tinkerforge system is like Python for hardware. It allows you to focus on ambitious goals by removing the petty difficulties of component level hard and software design. Here's a relatable example. Let's say you need a better thermal camera. Well, you can buy one for a thousand dollars or you can make one yourself for a lot less. But then you have to find all the exotic components, read all the data sheets, lay out and fabricate a circuit board that meets all the requirements and spend at least another weekend soldering, programming and troubleshooting. And that's fine, an enjoyable process for many, including myself. But if your final goal has some complexity to it, the amount of work grows exponentially and becomes demotivating. With these Tinkerforge building blocks on the other hand, you can outsource the most tedious work. That may sound like a cheesy sales pitch, but I can assure you that this sales pitch is 100% pure. A small German company has put years of work into this system and they are open sourcing everything. They have also sent me a few samples and I am thrilled to give them a try. So back to the thermal camera. This is their thermal imaging bricklet based on a Fleur lepton sensor. It has this automatic calibration shutter to achieve the best accuracy over time. And this is their master brick. It has a powerful microcontroller and four bricklet ports. Straight out of the box you can connect the bricklet to the brick and the brick to a PC. Resulting in a much better thermal camera than the cheap one I got from China. This one is not nearly as expensive as an off-the-shelf camera, but it's not quite as cheap as the Chinese one either, so it makes sense to protect it in a custom acrylic enclosure. Differently shaped variants of which are available for many other bricklets. And there are many other bricklets, sensors, in and outputs, interfaces and some remote control stuff. But these guys have little or no processing power on their own. To do their job, they have to be connected to a brick. Bricks have some processing power, but they are using it all for real-time communication with a computer. They aren't meant to run their own programs autonomously. Except for this one, the red brick is a computer running Linux on an all-winner SOC. It can take charge of Tinkerforge City, but that must be very difficult to configure, right? Well, it's not quite an electronics learning kit for 12-year-olds. But the Tinkerforge design philosophy of effortless usability is noticeable here too. It's beneficial, but you don't have to be a Linux wizard to use this thing. The brick viewer is prepared to give you an overview and the most basic controls over all of their modules, including a graphical user interface and data visualization in real time. That's over a hundred different interfaces, plus a special one for the red brick that allows you to upload programs and configure when and how they're executed. What a ton of work that must have been. The mind boggles. And that's been four minutes of introductions. Now it's finally time to get down to business and actually build something. What about the world's largest Internet of Things relay, for example? Four hundred ten ampere rating on this beauty. The Tinkerforge double relay bricklet I'm using can switch up to ten ampere, and that should be good enough for most household applications. Maybe you need a camera slider instead. With a bit of Chinese linear hardware and a Tinkerforge silent stepper brick, you can make one that's cheaper and better than every commercial one. The silent stepper brick is based on a Trinamic TMC2130 out of all things. When I made videos about that stepper driver, I would have given a lot for a convenient user interface like this. It lets you play around with all the settings while the motor is running and without programming anything. Wonderful. As an example, here's another demonstration of their stealth chop mode. 
and this would be stealth job disabled. And this is 8 micro steps without their smoothing algorithm. Their IMU brick is based on a $10 Bosch chip and it performs beautifully as expected. It has an accelerometer, a gyroscope and a geomagnetic sensor. Highly reliable absolute orientation data is processed based on these sensors. To be honest, I haven't fully understood yet how these LEDs are illustrating the data. I like the visualization in the brick viewer a lot better. This brick is best enjoyed in combination with another module. Take their servo brick for example and you can turn it into the world's worst gimbal stabilizer. Although admittedly I didn't put a lot of work into it. I guess I was already fantasizing about this build. A 3D printed holder for two stepper motors, a big battery from the hobby store and a step down power supply. It supplies 5 volt to the whole stack as well as the higher input voltage to those bricks that need it. Like these two silent stepper bricks for example. I'll make it controllable remotely with the Wi-Fi extension and I'm not sure if it matters but I'll put the IMU on top of the stack so that it sees a lot of movement. The debug brick has no other purpose than to provide a smooth termination to which I can attach the thermal camera later. Programming this system is super easy. You can just stitch together copy and paste segments from the software examples that have been published by the company. Fine tuning for my balancing robot and its suicidal PID controller will take a bit more time though. But when that's done, the heat seeking robot will be back and better than ever. In conclusion, I like the Tinkerforge system a lot. And I've only touched the surface of what's possible with combinations of these professional building blocks. I'll be showing them in a few more videos, but today it's just too warm to do anything else but consume a large cold beverage. So, see you next time. Cheers! I was kind of hoping that one could see it traveling down my throat, otherwise I wouldn't have emptied the whole bottle.